Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, are you serious? Uh, the CERN has just broke a record. The first images of the collisions at the CERN at 13 TEV. Uh, I've got a graph here I want to show you. Just check this out here, folks. Uh, and I will put the link to this website up for you. But there you see the graph. Now you can see when the beam, when they started to crank the beam, you can see how it started to rise. Uh, and this took place yesterday. Uh, May 21st, 2014, excuse me, 2015. It happened last night. The protons collided. Uh, and it, the Large Hadron Collider at the same, uh, at a record-breaking 13 TeV for the first time. These test collisions were to set up symptoms, excuse me, systems that protect the machine and detectors from particles that may stray from the edges of the beam. They don't know what they got. They got a tiger by the tail. Are you serious? They've got a tiger by the tail. And the reason they do is because they don't understand exactly what they've got their hands on. It's sort of like when Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity. He, he found a source of power, but he had no idea how to contain it and control it. This is what's happening with the sun. They are tapping into the God particles. They are figuring out they can extract matter from antimatter, which is what God did in the creation when he said, let there be light, and there was light. He pulled the light out of the darkness. He separated the light from, you know, the night from the day by creating matter out of antimatter. God is in all matter. And so, you know, uh, it's an incredible situation that mankind is getting closer. We've, we've eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and we're finding out knowledge, and we're also committing evil. And I'm afraid they've got their hands on something they can't control and could blow the whole... I mean, the whole thing could just blow sky high. Who knows? They have no idea what they're doing on this. I'm not saying they don't know what they're doing. I'm saying they don't understand what they got their hands on. Now, Jesus even refers to this in Matthew 24, when he talks about the signs of the end times. But let me read to you what else it says. A key part of the process was set up of the uh, colliders, these devices which absorb stray particles, all right, were adjusted in colliding the beam conditions. This setup will give the accelerator team the data they need to ensure that the LHC magnets and detectors are fully protected. Today, the tests continue. Colliding beams will stay uh, in the LHC for several hours. The LHC operations team will continue to monitor the beam quality and its ability to perform. This is an important part of the process that will allow the experimental teams running the detectors. So what we have here is a first time ever in history that mankind has collided protons at this speed, almost the speed of light. Now, Jesus was asked the question. He's on the Mount of Olives, and I was there last week, and so I think about it. Every time I go up on the Mount of Olives, I think, oh, my Lord. He was here, and they asked him this question, and they said unto him, um, tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Jesus answered, said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrows. Then he talks about the persecutions. And he says, they sh Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. That's happening right now. We're watching ISIS do it to our brothers and sisters in Christ in Syria and in Iraq, and of course many other places as well. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. We see that. 
in the body of Christ a lot, a lot of times with, with tremendous divisions of doctrines and just outright uh, envy and strife among the brethren. That's not God. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. The gospel of Jesus Christ and the gospel of his second coming will be preached in all the world. And that's happening, folks, right now. And we are a part of that. And then it talks about the abomination. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place whosoever readeth let him understand I tell you what when I was on the temple mound last week and I and I, I realized that just under the floor of the dome of the rock mosque was the foundation stone of Solomon's temple which where the holy of holies once was where God once dwelt God dwells everywhere but you know what I mean I, I said to myself dear Lord uh, but let me go to verse 22, because I think verse 22 might be talking about the same. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. It's as if God is saying, or as Jesus is saying here, we're going to have to put an end to this thing before we wanted to. Because man is about able, just about ready to come up with technology that he can destroy the earth. And man won't get to destroy the earth because God is going to pour out his wrath upon the earth. He has the final judgment. So you might want to be concerned about the CERN. More importantly, get your life right with Jesus Christ, with Yeshua, and then you won't have any fear because he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. You can rest in the Lord if you have the Lord. Are you saved? We're running out of time. Don't miss today's live broadcast. We'll talk about this and many other current world events and biblical prophecy, including what Avi Lipkin just announced I interviewed him while in Jerusalem on May 17th. I'm, and I, it's a four-part interview, and I just uploaded part two in which he gives an amazing revelation. You'll have to watch it, and we will talk about it. Today shows at 12 noon Eastern at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.